Good morning, everybody. So one of my friends just messaged me. She lives like 20 minutes from here down in Hollywood. Apparently somebody tried to steal her catalytic converter, like one of the homeless tweakers with the jigsaw. They got under her car, they cut a hole in her exhaust pipe, and then they ran away. So she still has her catalytic converter. She just has a massive hole in her exhaust pipe. So I think that tomorrow we are gonna go head up to her and try to help her fix her exhaust pipe. Because I've also got to fix my exhaust pipe. We can just do both of them at the same time. That's content. If you're gonna steal the if you're gonna steal the catalytic converter, at least take the catalytic converter. Like you're risking prison time. At least take the thing you're there for. I don't know. God, I slept great last night. Like it's warm outside. There wasn't any bright lights. Last night was fantastic. And now we're gonna go play mechanic on a car that's not mine. I am in a great mood. <sighs> She's posting this on her Instagram story while she's like discovering that her car has been tampered with. And apparently she had to look up on the internet like what it sounds like when your catalytic converter has been stolen. And so she looks it up, she listens to the video and she goes into her car and she's like, mm, I don't know, does that sound the same? <laughs> like, like literally her exhaust pipe is cut in half. She can see that like half of her exhaust pipe is like dangling down and she's over here looking up like, Hmm. I'm being, I'm being an ass. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just funny to think that when you turn your car and you hear a rocket underneath you, that you need to go on YouTube and find out like what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> Especially when you live in like Los Angeles. I do need to get socks though. One sock and two socks. Let's go for an early morning walk before we uh, head to McDonald's. Look at this, you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see the fog because I'm not sure what you guys' like render distance is, but there's a lot of fog going on right now. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh, hey, look, I found a little farmer's market down there. We could probably find ourselves some lemons or apples. Oh, fuck. Actually, we need to head to McDonald's because I need to edit and upload yesterday's vlog. We are back to the car, but before we head to McDonald's, I realized that in my last vlog, I didn't explain something quite well enough, so I want to come back in here and I want to uh, revise yesterday's vlog a little bit. Okay, boom. I made the explanation. This is the part where I was explaining what the boost converter does. To McDonald's. My window is still very much full of breath. We are going to park in exactly the same spot we did yesterday. This is basically my spot as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, I gotta lock this. Where's my keys at? There we go. Breakfast is gonna be 528. Just let me use your outlet. Ah, there we go, I found it. Yeah, so just a tip, you should order the small drinks because this still costs like $1.29, but you get free refills on them. The large drinks, they cost like two fifty. Small drinks for the win. So apparently uh, other people are starting to get addicted to these things because of me, but no, McDonald's is never gonna sponsor me for doing this because I give them free promotion. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it is so nice outside. The sun is not being mean. I guess I forgot to take down my little sunscreen this morning. I also didn't put my bedding back. I was actually planning on leaving California today. We were gonna go hit the road again, but now that she has her uh, catalytic converter cut off and we have to go help her tomorrow, we need to stay here for a bit longer. So I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so actually pause, pause. I just had an idea for a product that I think would be interesting to try to build and I wanna run it by you guys. I had this idea like five minutes ago, so just like, I'm thinking about this right now. Do you guys remember like 10 years ago, there was an app called Hot or Not. Basically the premise was you get to rate other people. It'd show you pictures of like women or whatever and you would be able to decide whether or not they were attractive or whether or not they were unattractive. And it would give them a score. Like they would say it's a six out of 10 or you're an eight out of 10. And in exchange for that, you yourself would be able to get rated. People would swipe left or right on you and you would get a number. It would be able to tell you objectively that you are a seven out of 10 or you are a three out of 10. And that's how that works. You give your opinion on other people and then they will give their opinion on you in exchange. Imagine a product like that except for YouTubers. For a YouTuber would be able to go up there, they would post their thumbnail and their title and then other people would tell them whether or not that's a good thumbnail and a good title. And they would do that for other people and everybody is just in a circle helping other YouTubers get good thumbnails and good titles. I could probably build that. 
I have an audience here on YouTube and on TikTok, so I'd probably be able to market it pretty well. I think that sounds like a fun idea. I'm not sure if there's a, a market for it, but I can build it. So I just realized that my tongue is really pink. Um, the reason for that is bubble gum. Not that you guys give a shit, but I have one of the longest tongues of anybody I've ever seen. That's just gonna be one of those things that I work on while I'm in Vienna, I guess. Little projects like that. There's a really cool pizza place in this parking lot over here I wanna show you guys. Here we are. This is the place, it's called Blaze Pizza. It's basically Subway, except instead of sandwiches, they make pizza. Can I build my own pizza with all of the top, or with the all topping things? Can I get smoked ham and grilled chicken and a little bit of bacon, olive, and yes, that's it. 13 20. Check it out, and they have public restrooms. So, you know, in hindsight, I'm starting to think that that Panchero's that we went to earlier might have been pretty expensive. Like, do you guys remember that place that was advertising itself as having an $18 minimum wage? That cost $13 for a burrito. The same price that we paid for a full pizza here. I think a burrito should cost less than a pizza, so I think that their minimum wage did increase their prices. They're putting it up for sale. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, they got Ooh. people at all the houses. Yeah, this is the subway for pizza. Oh, it might be too hot. Come on. I love this place so much. And I just want to highlight that there are tomatoes and olives on this. So this is wildly nutritious. And both tomatoes and olives are green before they turn red and black respectively. So I'm basically eating green things. This is, this is basically vegetables. This is basically a salad. Then I think this goes there. <laughs> There's a kid behind me who saw that I was filming while I was in the pizza place and he comes up to me and he's like, so, what are you recording for? Is that for like YouTube or TikTok or whatever? I always hate that. I hate when people come up to me and they want me to like explain what I do because it's, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to like make this make sense to people that don't already watch me. So I just give them my channel name and then just like hope they go away. No, the kid, he comes up to me. He's like, so wait, are you a food reviewer? Are you here to review our restaurant? Is this like a TikTok thing? I miss having my big TikTok account, the one with like a million followers because it made it much easier for me to like show somebody my handle and then it made, it gave me some kind of like credibility. Whereas now I give them my YouTube account and it's just like, oh, you live out of your car? I mean, okay. Back when I was a big TikToker, I had a little bit more weight when people saw me recording. I missed that. So I'm, uh, I left my GoPro in my car so you just get to listen to me talk on my phone. I feel really bad because I didn't actually do anything today. I have literally stayed in this one like square mile complex all day. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna upload this video. Like is a video where I don't do anything better than no video at all? Like I feel like I should always be doing something in these videos. There has to be something interesting, some point of conflict. And videos like this, they're basically just a money grab. It's basically me just being like, hey, watch a bunch of ads, give me money, bye. but I have a streak to continue. So I guess I'm gonna post a video with nothing in it. Hopefully I can make it up to you guys tomorrow by trying to fix Mackenzie's car. They definitely took one of her catalytic converters and it looks like they cut some of her uh, coolant lines. So we have a lot of repair work to do if we wanna get her car running again. Yeah, so the parking lot that we're in right now, they actually let us sleep here. So we can just stay here. I'm exhausted. I feel like I've walked like nine or 10 miles today, just going around this little loop. I'm gonna have to check my watch later to find out.